It's time for the Giz Wiz with Mads Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1741, recorded Thursday, August 22nd, 2019. It's in the bag. On this episode of the Giz Wiz, we have three gadgets that you've probably never heard on. My sketchy gadget is very, very sketchy. And we've even thrown in some bonus gadgets this episode. All next on The Giz Wiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, frozen rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Wiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, lead general of gadgets, Dicky Bartolo. How you doing, Dicky D? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Doing very, very good. Uh, I see that we have some stuff to talk about in host chat, and I also have those. I have a bonus gadget to throw. Wow! Your way also, courtesy of Mo. So. Oh, great! Whatever. Great. Where do we want to start? Because we got a lot. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, since last week I ran up the, uh, took the boat up to see the Mario Cuomo Bridge because they're renaming it. Oh. Uh, the Mario M Cuomo Bridge. I know, I... <laughs> Whoa! Yes, I know, I, said, yeah, I, I ran up and I took pictures of it and I said, this looks very much like the Mario Cuomo Bridge. I don't know... I don't know how it came about, but evidently politics, politics, they, politics, yes, politics. they have to spend a ton of money on highway signs. Yeah. And what difference it makes. I, I couldn't they get a magic marker and just make a little arrow in there and write an M above it. Just call it M uh, in in our hearts, you know, just tell people <laughs> and you don't have to update any signs. It's just when do we get to it? When That's a it. sign goes out. <laughs> you know, to pasture, then you update it. But no, you got to do it all no. now. Um, That's funny. And yeah, so that, that was the, uh, the main thing. And how about you? Um, not, not a ton. It really has changed since last week. I did get uh, something in the mail. I actually got this in the mail maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, but this is from Mo. He sent me, this is the bonus gadget I was talking about. It is a dog collar for my dog, Charlie, and it has a really cool feature that it lights up. It has a, oh, I don't know if that's very that cool nice. light up thread stuff that I've seen. Now he sent two, so I sent you, uh, he sent me two, one for me and one for you. Perfect. So I sent you, now Charlie already wears the headlight harness. Oh, that's, that's very nice. Yeah. That light, that lights up very well. Yeah. I'm I'm happy with it. What's funny is every time I bring my dog to um, boarding, which is like every time I travel, which is all the time, um, <laughs> they take his collar off for some reason, and I only remember to pick it up about half the time. So sometimes I show up and they have like three of Charlie's collars ready for me. <laughs> like, we are tired of these things piling up. Make sure you take them this time. So having an extra collar around is actually a really great, <laughs> great thing for me. Oh, great. Because he is always losing them, um, and I love I love this. This is uh, oh, and it looks like uh, an extra set of batteries too. Yes, also yes. CR uh, third twenty thirty twos. Twenty thirty twos. Yeah, yep. excellent. Yep. The one. So thank you, Mo, for the gift. Nice, nice extra gadget to show off on the show. Super. Um, I have a little else? mad mad news uh, okay, is yeah. they are adding one more issue. Oh. So it, it is not stopping with 10 oh. uh, be, because the, the biggest issue of the year is called the Mad 20, the 20 dumbest things of the right. previous year. Um, and so they decided that since <laughs> since people had started writing stuff for it, that they would publish an additional issue. And what, what's kind of fun about that is that it's the January, February issue. So. It brings Mad into 2020. Oh, good. So now it's now it's much easier to figure out uh, how old Mad is because it started on an even number year 
1952, and it's ending in an even number year, 2020, or at least original Mads right. uh, will, will be ending in 2020. Couldn't so. they just have gone two more years, made it so much simpler? Oh, that yeah, that would have been great. It would Come have been on, guys. 70, yeah, 70 years. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So that's something. Now, I have some photos from you, too. Um, uh, uh, yes. Are these for oh, Well, you know, do you want to tell about the, uh, why we're doing two shows next week? Oh, sure. Yeah, so the schedule is changing a bit. Next week, we're going to be recording two episodes. Uh, that'll be the end of this month, so end of, end of August, and then the beginning of September's theme, so I'll figure that out. But that is because Microsoft emailed me last night, 11 p.m., and said, hey, you want to go to Seattle <laughs> on, in two weeks? Uh, and so I said yes. And the reason is, is because they have a brand new Minecraft game called Minecraft Earth. It's been in beta, and I think that they are going to tell us tell me and a few other uh, content creators all about the new stuff that's coming out. So Ooh. stuff that hasn't been released. I'll be under embargo until basically the end of September with that, but that is why I'm uh, needing to reschedule so last minute for the Gizwiz is because it, it it's going to be kind of a big event. And then I don't have to go into too much detail on this, but... No, thought, no, if it's secret. Yeah. I thought I would get into... Uh, I thought I would get a get a step early on the competition and uh there's only four cities that you can use minecraft earth and the current beta and so i decided to book a flight to mexico city mexico to try to record this thing literally three days later is when this media event is happening so that trip is like completely useless to me now because i'm a i'm gonna record the current version and they're gonna tell me all about the next version in three days later, so it's kind of frustrating. But oh um, my god, are you still going to take the trip? Oh, I think yeah, because unfortunately the Mexico stuff is a uh, flight I can't refund, and a hotel that I got off of Hotwire's oh, fast okay. deals, so I can't refund that thing either. Um, so at the, <laughs> I guess I'll just go to Mexico. I'm probably still going to record, and because the embargo is literally like a month after the event. So I could get a video of the current version up a month before the next version, I guess. So I might, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. But it was okay. pretty frustrating when I got that email because I had to oh reschedule with you. I knew that my trip was going to, you know, be basically worthless. And, um, uh, and then, you know, just a headache of, of all that sort of stuff. So anyway, that's, uh, it's been. No, oh, it was exciting, exciting stuff. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure you can get back into the country. You have a passport? Um, <laughs> you know, I think I made it out of blocks recently. Oh. That I, like, I think that that will get me past. Oh, okay. I hope. Yeah, you have to come back. Yeah. Um, yeah. All, right. all right. All right. So uh, let's see the photos. I forgot what they were, but show me and then I can describe them. <laughs> there you go. Uh, this first one is very, Oh, yeah, very yes. Fancy. Okay. So I'm going to show you three gadgets you probably don't know about. Uh -huh. And one of them I, I suspect is never going to make it to market. And I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> the so the Harvard thing. Club is where, this is the end oh, of yes. July. I remember you telling me about the, the Harvard Club. Yeah. The Harvard Club had this uh, holiday, uh, an, another holiday preview. So that was the Harvard Club. Holy and moly, I was I know I and I think I <laughs> the invite said come hungry uh, but the invite didn't say go home hungry uh, <laughs> because I I looked up the Hobbit Club and it said five restaurants so going, the room I mean if you if you took the booze out of the room it's a paneled room but yeah. I mean it has a low ceiling uh, but there are two funny things about it actually the thing all the way on the lower right is something we're going to talk about um, right a product called switch heels and a bizarre uh, mashup is over in the corner there you see it says Evo and it says you can't see it all so I think it says aria so it's aria the ceramic uh, air fryer Ooh. and the electric bike. The electric scooter. Ooh. And I was with uh, Steve Greenberg from NBC and we're saying, what, why does a company that's making a air fryer market a scooter? And the guy said, oh, we're branching out. We're <laughs> thinking, well, branching out, wouldn't you do maybe a blender? <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, oh, and then something new from Kerrig. And we'll start with that because 
it's really a departure. So we'll go there first. Okay. Per- first off to Keurig. Keurig. Right, so something right. new from Keurig, but I don't get the K cup here. So Jen's going to have to explain what I'm looking at. This actually is not a K cup. It's a Drinkworks pod, and there's no coffee but alcohol. 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 Oh, tell me more. Let me show you. Okay, good. I'll give you that. Okay. Everything that you need is in the pod. The alcohol, the flavoring, and the machine chills and carbonates to the perfect temperature. Because this worked out it so great last time, carbonation. Yeah, yes. If required by the drink. Reading pod, authentic Drinkworks pod found. Press start. Because DRM worked so great last time. <laughs> Is this on the market now? It's in Missouri and Florida right now. You have to go to Missouri or Florida, or will it come to us soon? It will come to you soon. Okay. And do you know by, by soon, how soon? I cannot say. Okay. You can, okay. Do you know the retail price? Yes, I do. It's three ninety nine for the appliance, and a, a tube of four cocktails is $16. Okay. So it's roughly $4, $4 a drink. Okay. Do you, do you have to tip? No tipping. No tipping. So you save a lot of money there. Oh my God, what did we just make? We made a Moscow Mule. Oh, can I taste it? I'd love for you to taste it. Oh, okay. It looks very... Actually, that's quite good. (laughs) That looks very chilled. Uh, Okay, so we... Can you say it'll be out for the holidays? Not where, where? Not where, oh, okay. Yeah. We, okay. Keep looking for it online. What's the website? www.drinkworks.com. Drinkworks.com. But it is part of Carrick. It is a joint venture between Keurig and Anheuser-Busch. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. we learned so much of these things. <laughs> First off, I love the tiny microphone. I think that's very uh, Gizwiz-esque. I, I love it. Yes, well, you know what it was? It is, is the invite said, come to the uh, holiday gift guide, see scented candles, uh, luxury bed sheets, uh, uh, kids' Clothing. I said. I said, Dennis, I'm not going to go to this. He said, It's the Harvard Club. Just go. <laughs> and as I was going out the door, I thought you know, I have my phone with me. I said, Where, Where's that tiny little mic I bought? Because I can put it in my shirt pocket. And when I got there, I was so glad I had it um, because uh, it it was good enough. It was good enough for this show. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. So anyway, there's a little. There's a uh, a video on their website we can start running and I, I I can talk about it over the video. And it is there, yes. their watch video. There you go, watch this. So uh, so it's very it complicated this thing. Yeah. We can listen for it's a minute. Also a cocktail with top shelf ingredients. Cool to just the right temperature with the perfect amount of bubbles. Meet Drinkworks by Keurig. And we could go out there if you want. Uh, I, I'll be so, honest. This I'm pretty bearish on this. I don't think. Well, I, I know what you were referring to in the intro. The Keurig cold yeah so the reason i think this might have a better shot at it is with the Kerrig cold i think it was also four hundred dollars and it was it was like a buck fifty a drink and you were making Eight ounce uh, drinks or something diet like cola that. yeah or, or, and it tasted worse than what you could buy for a buck and get 10 glasses of it yeah uh so, you know, just for laughs, go to eBay and type in Carrick Cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, so I, I think this might have a better shot because everybody at a party could have their own drink with you just buying the pods and the drinks would be four bucks. And the fact that it, it cools the drinks, which the Carrick Cold did. Uh, and carbonates them. You know, it wouldn't be funny if they took all the old carrot cold machines and found a way <laughs> to re-engineer to, them. Y- yes. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, anyway, um, it seems to just be bringing up the pods. Yeah. The carrot cold machines, which were four hundred dollars, are now selling for thirty dollars. Yeah. The I problem can't. is, what are you going to do when they run out of pods to make the cold drinks? I would not buy. No, no. I just don't it, see like. The my Keurig that I have now, which I do use, right? It's, it, it it's not cheap, but it's not absurdly expensive. You can get a machine now for fairly inexpensive. The pods are more expensive than just say like a, a tea bag or using ground coffee, but it's not absurdly expensive. This, no, it, it's a it's about thirty to fifty cents a cup. Yeah, and this. Yeah. Is, I mean, it being four hundred bucks to get into it, and then you are really not saving any money by buying their pods. Uh, this no, is just the such only a slim market. Yeah, it's and for some reason I, I, it also makes beer. Are... <laughs> yeah, but does it make coffee? No. Yeah. No. Okay. Can it make soda? No, I think they learned their lesson. <laughs> this is I don't I don't see yeah. it. I okay. really dis okay. don't see it because Do you think four dollars a drink is too much? I think it's way too much. Way that too needs much. To, okay. It needs to be much less than going like a cup of coffee at a restaurant is like two fifty. Yes. Okay, making that at home at even fifty cents is is you know five times less. So if I go to a place, uh, even an expensive place, and say it's a $10 cocktail, if it needs to be $5 less, it needs to be, what, $2? Two, five times less is $2? How much are they? Four? Four dollars. Yeah. It needs to be half the uh, price. Four, right. Off except this, except in, Manhattan, in yeah. Manhattan. Now, in Manhattan, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Dennis and I used to, used to go to a place called the Algonquin, and the last time we went there, uh, drinks were sixteen dollars. Yeah, yeah. And now they're twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, a beer at the at the Boat Basin Cafe, a bottle of beer is eight fifty. <laughs> I could go. <laughs> I could buy a steak for that. Yeah, I like. know. I know. <laughs> and then there's tax, and then you have to leave a tip. So a beer at the Boat Basin Cafe. Is ten bucks. That's crazy. Um, no, <laughs> I mean it's not chat. unheard of. You know, it's no. just yeah. That's Someone expensive. in the chat room had a funny idea. They said, "Buy the machine and just mark up the price of the drinks at your party." <laughs> so if you, <laughs> if you want to charge people for drinks, you could make the money back. The, the other um, reason that I just don't see this taking off is the subsection of people that want to have mixed drinks at a party, and people who want to have mixed drinks that don't know how to make mixed drinks is really small. It's either you're going to love making mixed drinks, and so you're going to be into buying the different alcohols, having all the different things available, or you're going to serve beer or, or wine because you don't care about mixed drinks, and why would you go $400 and, you know, some money into the pods? Yeah, all those pods, yeah. I, I just... Where coffee is something where it's like, I really want good coffee, I want it convenient, I want it fast, and I want it in the morning, and I don't, or I want it whenever I want it, and I don't mind spending a little bit extra for that. A, a drink is also such a, uh, this is like for millionaires, is what I've kind of like <laughs> come to my could, conclusion. It could be, it could be. It's like, and also, the rollout is incredibly slow. Yeah, that is weird. It, it, it's in Florida and what was it, Missouri, and then it said coming to California April 2020, and that's the only the third state that they're announcing. Uh, 2020, uh, April, probably you could get drunk by tax time. Maybe that's the... Uh, but I, ima I imagine also that it must be a nightmare working with uh, states as to because you're actually selling liquor, I, I guess you have to go to a liquor store to buy the pods. I have no idea. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, that's a good point. Where do you, yeah, where do you buy the pods? <laughs> liquor stores. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kids could buy it and, and <laughs> shake it up. Can you just rip open that pod and I drink it? Say, I was just going to say, shake it, shake it up. Shake it up. 
Uh, uh, okay, I mean, I'm, well, I'm naysaying an awful lot. I do think that this is cool. I do think it's neat. I feel like people would buy it, but I just don't see it taking off like Keurig. Like no, the yeah. name that we have come to expect, I just don't see it being in everyone's home. Also, it's like how convenient do you need an alcoholic drink? Like, <laughs> yeah, I need this because I have like three alcoholic drinks a day. Like, I gotta get those pods so I stop wasting all this time. If you need three making my drinks alcohol. a day, you're buying liquor in big bottles. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it's cool. Right. It's, it's very it's cool. It's different. Gadget. I it's didn't realize different. I was so polarized on it. That's oh crazy. my gosh! No, yeah. no. All right, so um, we're going to use the company video. But when I saw the booth, I thought, now here's something else, totally unique, and this is it. Uh, the photo of the booth. Oh, okay. You, you can oh. uh, just run the video. Perfect. All right. So the booth is called Switch Heels. Switch Heels. And it's a way for a woman. To buy one pair of shoes and during the day make them into different kinds of shoes. So let's watch the, it's a little uh, two minute and 19 second video that the explains it all. And dance at the reception. Wait, should I start at the beginning? Here. Yeah, oh. that's fine. We always have trouble deciding between our high heels and our comfy flats. It's annoying to carry a separate pair of shoes to change into. Well, our switch heels solves this age old problem because they're three shoes in one. It looks professional to wear high heels at work. Some jobs even require it. But they hurt your feet throughout the day and can cause lifelong health issues. With our switch heels, you can save your feet by easily removing the heels. Then you can place them in your pouch and put them back on at any time throughout the day. downstairs and high heels can be difficult and tiring. By quickly switching to flats, it's safer to walk down. You can easily switch back at any time that you want. Dancing in high heels looks good, but it hurts your feet after a while. With switch heels, you can dance in the same cute shoes, you just change them to flats. You won't need to go barefoot or carry a separate pairs of shoes that might not match your outfit. Brides and bridal parties will just love our switch heels. The bride can wear high heels at the ceremony and dance at the reception until her feet get sore and switch to flats. Switch heels is the answer to the women's age-old problem. Women can now go from high heels to flats and back anytime. Driving in high heels can be dangerous and very uncomfortable. Our switch heels turn into flats in a matter of seconds for safer driving. When you reach your destination, you can put the heels back on and you're ready to strut your stuff. All right, we can go out there. Yeah. I think we have the idea. Yeah. All right, so they are, I don't know, we have a lot of women in the chat room. They're 100 bucks. And Scooter X said, I recall this product being promoted in 2017. Oh. Uh, uh, it could be. It could be. Uh, the, uh, and, and, and to tell you the truth, it. when you go to the website, I believe it says we are letting you pre-order. There we go. We'll be in production shortly. Hmm. You can pre-order a pair now. So they evidently are making, I think, five different styles or five, five. There they are. Or it's four. Here, let me go to shop. Uh, and there, it's ninety-five dollars. And those are the four styles. Oh, they have tons. Oh, oh, they, oh, they have tons of them. Okay, okay. Um, and you, e each pair includes. The three sets of heels. Interesting. I wonder how annoying it would be to because it looks like you can't just rip the heel off and then you, you have no, to it looks take like it off it's and on it. add a second one. I wonder how cool it would be just to rip the heel off <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> it's like, get off of well, there. I was, I was just wondering when she was at the top of the stairs putting on the, the low heels, I'm thinking... Yeah. 
Is there a liability out. thing here when she puts them in the wrong way and falls down a flight? Of, I don't know. Yeah, I, that's true. I, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, Becky says, I haven't worn heels in 30 years. Um, well, also, it was kind of interesting wow. when she said some uh, places high heels are required. In this day and age, is that possible? Yeah, I know. That's the, what I was thinking. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Um, yeah. Make so the heels this is a video. Oh. Scooter X just shared a video with Brianna of Switch Heels from 2017. Okay, well, you know what? I was on, let me just see here. This is that product. Uh, on their Twitter page, which hasn't been updated in a long time, it says, we are a group of Babson students starting a business mm. that sells convertible high heels. So I guess they're still trying to get their business yeah. up and running. Interesting. Okay. So anyway, that's Switch Heels. And if you want to pre-order, seems they have at least eight styles at switchheels.com. Cool now, stuff. all right. So this is the brochure that I picked up at the place. Okay. Aria, the smart oh, ceramic yeah. air fryer. <clears throat> and now introducing our Evo. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to, I can't see why I hold it. So, uh, modern home makers of the area, smart ceramic fr air fryers now has Evo, the world's first fully foldable e-bike. Well, first uh -huh. of all, how could it be the world's first? We've been showing f foldable yeah. e-bikes for years now, especially uh -huh. that little one. Um, that looked like circles. Do you remember that? Yeah, it was, I do. It's wild, uh, wildly expensive, but the guy took it and, <laughs> and then you just carry it. So anyway, I, I do not see a warm, fuzzy future and here's the demo. See okay. what you think. Okay, here we go. In the okay. Harvard Club and here comes a man on an electric Scooter, whoa. whoa, Chad, Chad, tell me about this. Wait, I don't know easy, anything about. Easy oh, to yeah. fold. <laughs> so, it, can you show me it fold? Of course, I can show you fold, and it folds in less than two minutes. Less than what? two minutes. Less than two minutes. All right, well then, talk what? And fold. Okay. Of course, my yeah, spot is go. two minutes. Let's get going then. Yeah, let's get going. <laughs> I can show you how to fold it. This guy is very yeah. funny. All right, so we already see it has a little digital dash. Handlebars down. We are uncoupling the front wheel. We are, there we go. Okay, taking a, oh, we have to remove a bolt. So you would probably just do this when you get to the office. And uh, I already know a couple things about it. Easy to, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you questions as you do it. Is that okay? Right, for sure. Yeah. Okay, the top speed. The top speed would be 27 to 28 miles an hour. Oh. Depending upon the weight of the person and depending upon different factors. Okay. Yeah. And how long to charge it? It's gonna be about three hours to charge it and you can charge it literally anywhere. It's a regular port charger. Oh, okay. So you can take this up to the office. You can take it to the work, practically, and you can charge it while you're working and take it back home. No using the trains, no using the bus. You're just using a portable charger to charge your e-bike. And it's so compatible that you can take it in your car, drive it around the beach. And okay, is that to totally folded now? Yeah, no. So it's going to be folded down more. More. Oh, my gosh. Even more. <laughs> that... And we're doing more. Now this to me seems a little bit labor intensive. Um, okay. Oh, 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 we're getting, oh, we're getting there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now tell me, tell me the retail pro Also coming up with the luggage to put this bike in. So you can literally take this bike, put it in a luggage and take it for travel with you. Okay. And you can take it in a car or you can take it from the workplace to the beach or anywhere you want to bike it. Okay, now retail price. 
the retail price that we're gonna be having on this would probably be nine ninety nine ninety nine. Okay, and it will be available about when? So it's gonna be available in about three months, but we're also doing a Kickstarter in about a month. So we'll be putting this on Kickstarter and coming about coming up with crazy deals on there. So hop onto that and please And tell us your website. Our website would be called evoebikes.com. EVOEbikes.com. Uh, that's a great way. More ways to travel. Except in New York City, I believe it has to be 18 miles an hour. But they'll take care of that. Uh, fun stuff here at the Mom and Dad Expo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. I can do it in less than two minutes. <laughs> less than two minutes. That's, yeah. It, the website would be uh, Evo Ebikes. Because it except it's isn't. GoDaddy now, right? Yeah, <laughs> it is not. Yeah, yeah. and I tried uh, Evo e bike and Evo. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I, my my guess is, I don't know. My guess is maybe they bought it somewhere, <laughs> like on Alibaba, yeah. and thought, let's let's take it to the show and get people's reaction. It it, it just seems clumsy I, yeah. I don't know it doesn't seem like a real company product uh and it, i can find nothing on, on kickstarter don't see oh the... wait a second not the evo kickstarter not the oh, evo kickstarter oh not the evo oh, okay oh this is just uh, different a folding folding a fold. electric bike for consumers as they claim to be the oh first. bleak says nothing like it on alibaba well that's uh, new uh, hmm yeah, I, it's definitely not the first folding bike since. Uh, no, can, not at all. Not folding electric bike, not at all. Keep finding th these compact folding bikes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Now, this one did have rather rugged tires, so I, I right. can see that this one would go over things that those, that little, uh, the E folding bike had tiny tires and they were like an inch wide. So you really had to be on. Uh, pretty smooth sidewalks to work, but uh, I, I don't hold a lot of hope for. Uh, I, I don't this, really see that guy. being that big of a advantage either, because I've used the Lime scooters that are electric bikes. Those are great, and the wheels are itty bitty tiny. Um, so yeah, I just don't, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. No. Happening. With that, let's jump on over to some sketchy gadgets in... Yo, you don't need it. How'd you might want it at your chance? Crappy corner. Get it. I have this, the smallest, idiest bittiest sketchy gadget. So this theme is sketchy, kind of uh, nefarious, spy-esque, things that, that can be used, uh, I guess, in surveillance or... You know, th that sort of stuff. Uh, so this, I didn't do a great job of explaining what it was at the beginning of the video, but this is a handcuff key that you can hide on your shoelace. So I recorded a video oh. just earlier uh, explaining it all. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay. Hey Diggy D, so here we are with another gadget that is sketchy, a little bit, a little bit nefarious. Uh, some sort of spy gadget, and we are check taking a look at the bootlace handcuff key. So of course to test out a key that would be able to open up handcuffs, we first need some handcuffs. So actually the first sort of thing that I went to do to test out this gadget was to actually pick up some real handcuffs. I went to a distributor uh, that uh, sells a whole bunch of stuff to police forces here in Dallas and picked up some real handcuffs. Uh, these are made by Smith & Wesson. They're 100% Oh handcuffs. my gosh. Um, they are real honest to God handcuffs. They come with a handcuff key. Uh, this is the key that would be used. And so you can see there's a few things that help make this handcuff work. First, obviously, the more you tighten, the more it goes in. Uh, you can't pull out. You use the key, the key has a little tooth. That tooth depresses a set of um, little, you know, some teeth back there that would also keep the uh, handcuff from sliding back. 
fun little fact is that this handcuff has another feature which uses this little nub at the end of the key. And inside of there, there is a little wire almost. And if you push that wire towards the keyhole, it will lock this handcuff so that it can't be tightened anymore. So the way to unlock that is you put the key in and before we were turning the tooth towards the teeth to unlock it, now we're gonna turn the opposite direction and first unlock the uh, second mechanism, just like that. And now this can be uh, tightened again and then we go back and unlock the handcuff. So all of that can actually be done with the bootlace handcuff key. It will go onto your shoelace, if it wasn't obvious already. And so this little device will sort of hide out on your shoelace until you need it. So first, let me go get a shoe. So the way that this key works is it just like this one, it has a little tooth on the end, and then the back part of it will actually fit into your shoelace. So we'll just line up the shoelace just like this. It does say that it's a boot handcuff key, but I don't think that that's super necessary. I have some pliers and we're just gonna crimp this onto the end of the shoe. And the instructions do say so to cut the shoelace. So now this has been crimped too. on, super simple. You just oh, okay. are gonna try to press that metal into the shoelace as much as you can. And just now cut this should work just bit, as a so key. It does so have a little long. Sort of cover that it comes with, and that's just to keep it even more sort of unlikely that someone would check <laughs> that you have a thing on your shoelace. Uh, but to be, and obviously this would be better if this was a black shoelace instead of a white shoelace, but doesn't, I'm not super worried about it. So right here we have this one. Uh, it's pretty tightened. We can take the shoelace key, put it inside, twist. Ooh, it's not quite as simple. There we go. And now it is unlocked just like that. You do, it is a little bit finicky. One thing to note is that there's a security device, device inside of here, which is just that there's a, uh, a, a area Piece of metal. that needs to have a hole in the key and the shoelace key does accommodate that. So you can put this all the way through and then push pretty hard. It does take some working and now this is unlocked. And if for some reason this uh, secondary sort of security feature was uh, added, all you have to do is go the opposite direction with your shoelace key and then there you go, now that's undone. And then you take that and now you are out of your handcuffs. So a uh, little device that actually does work in order to get out of some uh, police issue handcuffs. Okie dokie. So that uh, the chat room has already found where I got it off of <laughs> scam stuff. Uh, this is Brian Brushwood's store. Uh, he calls it Lace Escape Tool. You can just search for boot lace handcuff key, uh, and there's, I saw a few for about $15 if you wanna save a little bit of money. Um, but yeah, this is the same thing. Uh, and this is actually where I bought it uh, off of Scam Stuff, scamscuff.com. Uh, and so this, uh, it's only $18. You might be able to find it uh, for cheaper. Another thing to mention is, I still have it on my shoe over here. Um, the little rubber bit that was kind of there to hide the lace key is also really good to just keep on there to give you some more tra traction when trying to lock and unlock the handcuffs. Figured that out a little bit later. And they do mention in the instructions that you should probably cut the plastic part of your shoelace a little bit shorter so that you don't have this really long piece on your shoelace. And so I actually still have it installed on my shoes. It, I was playing around with it a little bit after the video and it still works just fine. It is, if you don't have as much um, leverage on the key that you do with one of these keys, this one has, you know, a nice wide circle to easily twist. Uh, it doesn't have that, but other than that, it'll work just fine to um, to open up handcuffs. And so, yeah. It's also crazy Where did you to buy the with... handcuffs? So there's this place called, I forget, Oh, God, Handcuffs are us? <laughs> no. It was like something distributor. Uh, shoot, I forget. But went in there and they supply police stuff to all the policemen. So there was uniforms, 
uh, a whole section for handcuffs. So if you wanted to buy like, these were made out of nickel, you could also buy like stainless steel or aluminum handcuffs. Um, there were even some handcuffs that had special keys, but that was like only one or two of them. These, it seemed like all of them used the same type of key because you could also buy special, you could buy like custom-ish keys. Um, some of them look like pins and were much easier to use than this or had like a little clip to put in your pocket, that sort of stuff. Um, they sell like the police gloves, they sell uh, quick clot, which is like a thing if you get shot, you know, you <laughs> throw some quick clot on your, there was all sorts of stuff for wow, police officers. Wow, you're a so, lot sketchier than we thought. <laughs> exactly. I went into the sketchy places. Uh, wow. They sold, obviously, tons of guns, too. There's a gun store oh, on top God. of all that. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, but these are... It's funny because I was like, how am I going to get some police-issue handcuffs? Because I kind of assumed the police department would issue the handcuffs, and, like, they're not easy to get. But this store, it seemed like... You would just bill it to your police department. Did you look on you walk go, on Walmart? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't, oh, okay. didn't check that out. No, but yeah. Okay. So it was actually fairly simple. To I also was like, are they gonna allow me to buy these handcuffs? Like, do I need to like say like here's my badge number? Because there was some there's some stuff in there. One other thing, I unfortunately already bought my last gadget, um, but I saw something in there that I was like, oh my gosh, this might be what I want to do. Uh, it was expensive though, so I don't. So I'll just tell you about it. But it's uh, to get into cars, um, to basically like hijack a car that a a um, uh, locksmith would use. They sell these little bags that you would slide in between the car door, and then you use a pump to inflate the bag, which makes a big crack for you to reach into. And then they sell basically these arms that will either pop the trunk or open up the, uh, like, yeah, so you don't have to use a clothes hanger to do it all. They sell, like, specific equipment. Some of them, the ends, they had, like, loops and all sorts of stuff to, like, either unlock oh the gosh. car or whatever. It's like a Slim Jim, but it was, it was fancier. It was much, much fancier. Um, but that was expensive, and, and I already have a gadget, so I didn't do that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, anyway... We, this Rudy is a well now, kind of if you have a with. company that comes over and starts abusing your liquor, you can lock them up. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> it's also interesting. I'm a huge fan of Live PD, and I've seen, I've been curious because I've actually been around some handcuffs with the magic stuff that I used to do. And I had always noticed they would, they would lock up the person, and then they would take a key, and they would do something to the handcuff. And I kept thinking, this must be some big extra step that locks it so that if you... Because I had seen the boot lace thing years ago on Brian's site. And I kept thinking, there must be this extra step that makes them super, super secure. Now I know what they're doing is they're sliding that extra mechanism to make sure that the cuff doesn't accidentally tighten and then won't be able to untighten. So it won't tighten anymore on a suspect. And, you know, they won't scream like, ah, I got the cuff way too tight. They can oh, okay. keep the, the cuff from tightening anymore. And now I realize that that's what they've been doing the whole time. Um, so it was kind of cool to actually have police issue cuffs that uh, are, are perfect for this. The, Bleak has, I think, the exact cuffs that I have. Oh, no, not quite. But they're, yeah, they're similar enough. Um, so there you go. That's my uh, second wow. to last sketchy gadget. Um, kind of a fun one for me. With that, let's move on to Nick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Nick's Gadget Warehouse. Fuck on. And like every third or fourth video, it's from Mo, and this is no exception. Uh, Mo says, hi, guys. Another find I thought you and the viewers might enjoy. It's called Bag Pods, and this is how it works. Here's some bag pods. Hey, guys. Today I bring you another 
very useful i don't know if you want to call it a gadget but it's a utility a item something that i think we all could use especially dick uh living in the city you know that right now they're going to start charging for plastic bags you have to bring your own bags and everything so this is a really cool solution it's called the bag pods so you open it up when you need a bag just pull one out comes that out easy really strong material i believe it holds up to 15 pounds of items before I got this, I used to use Ikea bags. One of the biggest problems, and I know everybody has this problem, I buy the Ikea bags, but the biggest problem is storage. You never could fold them up uh, the way they were originally. So this solves an issue, that issue. So you, like I said, just open it here, pull out. This has 10 bags that it holds. Wow, that's and a lot see, of I bags. pull all these out, I have them all out. I gotta put them back so they come out the same way. So what they did was you actually just Open it on the top, crumble one up, each one up, and you just shove it in there. And when you start to pull them out on the other side, they come out one by one, so there's never any folding or any type of storage issues. So you tie it at the end with the drawstring. And one of the nice things, it has a hook, so you can hook it in the supermarket to your shopping cart. And it works really well, so again, Take them out, and only one comes out, so not all of them comes flying out. And then you put it back in through the top, and it comes with a nice bag. I'm gonna keep this in my glove compartment or the trunk of my car, so those uh, times I need it. And uh, I don't know about Chad, but I know uh, Dick could use this, definitely, <laughs> Dick and Dennis. <laughs> so the bag is big enough to accommodate two one gallon milk containers. Uh, you might want to take that one back. It's not full. Both of them? Uh, <laughs> without any issues? Your grocery store is dipping you, Mo. That's good. Yeah, I. Uh, he's right, though. I have so many... Oh, oh, he's yeah. showing you. You can hang it up. Uh, I have so many little bag things that fit in a little slip pack that go in my pocket. And he's right. When you get home... You would spend an hour yeah. trying to get it back in. And I, and I love the fact that you just open the end, and no matter how you mush it. it up in there, yeah. it comes out the top fine. Yeah. As long as you're yeah. putting them in one at a time, you're probably yes. not going to pull out two or, or three. I really like this. When um, I, and you're, He's correct. In Dallas, they, we don't have these bag laws yet. Uh, but in California, when I lived in Petaluma, uh, they did. And so... I still have all of my, what I do is I put them in the front of my car um, and I have all my reusable bags there. This is so much more compact, really nice. 10 bags yeah. is plenty, really plenty. Oh, but there's a, uh, you know, I, I would just buy the five. The five pack is yeah. $25. Uh, I don't think I need 10 bags. Yeah, uh, it's smaller too. Yeah. It's really neat. I really, really like that. Yeah, and uh, it goes, good... God, look at the reviews. <laughs> yeah. 650 yeah. reviews. Yeah. Wow. On uh, what, 4.8 stars from 653 customers. Yeah. I really so... like the reusable material that they are. Uh, some, some other bags are almost too much. Like, I have a few reusable bags that are, like, so thick. I would never need that much material, um, to, and they're kind of a pain to work with. So I'd like that this is a nice mix of, you know, thin and and hefty. It, it seems like it falls in the middle there, just from what I've watched, uh, yeah. really well. No, yeah, that's good, Mo. Thank you, Mo. You'll get the new issue of Mad. This might be a good. I'll Christmas send you. Gift. I'll send you a couple uh, because I'm sure you'll have another video next week. We have a video from Manly. And so we have one from Manly next week. We're doing two shows next week. So we need another video. Will it be yours, please? Okay, make a video. Anything about any kind of gadget, as you saw there with Mo. It was an inter interesting gadget. No Bluetooth. Uh, no LEDs. Anything that you think will be interesting. If it's old, we love that the most. 
And if you bought a piece of crap, we'd like to hear about it. Save people from buying it themselves. Uh, just make sure you shoot uh, horizontal and that we can hear you like we did in Moe's. And put it on YouTube. You can click on listed. Then only people at the URL can watch it. And send that URL to us. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it. With that, let's move on to the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the Gizwiz letters now. Now. Uh, letter is from, he just signs his name, George. And he says, more technology at Tuesday morning. If George isn't a rocket scientist, I don't want to hear. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, Tuesday morning must be a store. Oh, yeah, I do know Tuesday. Uh, oh, you Tuesday do know morning. Tuesday. Yes. My mother uh, he, loves that store. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, uh, George says, oh, wow, I never realized that Tuesday morning was a high-technology store. Look at the new technologies I found for you. Ooh. And he sent us three photos. So here is the, like a, oh, a it's brush. a scrubbing brush. Scrubbing brush for a grill. Looks like a grill. Which has grill brush. cool cleaning technology. Oh, okay, course, cool cleaning technology. Then we have a multi shopper, chopper, Ooh. which is. Uh, go back. Uh, oh, oh 30 bucks. chop drop technology. <laughs> That's what we needed. <laughs> oh, this is so chop weird. drop. What is this? Oh, my God. You know, I've been using one without. <laughs> Stop. Chop. I've just drop. been using chop technology, not drop. No, oh and I had gosh. been using drop technology, but now you can get two in oh, one. Look at this. Cool, clean technology. Oh, Oh, cool, wonderful. clean technology. Oh, that was the first one. I think this is just a Oh, that was the first shot. one. Okay, I guess there were just two of them. Uh, oh, that's very funny. <laughs> what was the other one? Chop, drop? Uh, chop, drop ch technology. Technology. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> um, George, <laughs> thank you for that. Well, boy, a new technology is every minute of the day. It's I know. Great. Really, great. when does technology stop and just normal <laughs> stuff happen? You never know. <laughs> no, you never know. You never know. Uh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should say, it should sh say uh, chop, drop, and cry. Yeah. The, un the onion uh, machine. We should really just come up with a technology for every guy. What is it? With... Shoelace binding technology. This uh, yes, this key yeah. with <laughs> obfuscate authority technology <laughs> built in. It's ridiculous. Okay, good one. Good good letter. Thank you, uh, George. Hey, I want to remind you guys we're having a meetup in New York, <laughs> New York, uh, at Disneyland. So please join us if you want to hang out with us right here. This is the, this is the spot. This is where me and you will hang out. And me beer and is not ten dollars. Beer is free. <laughs> exactly. If you want to Although find out, we are selling mixed drinks for a hundred dollars <laughs> to the first four people. Okay. We I, we might have to do it a little bit more if uh, it's, that's just the base. We still need that's to cover just the, the base. Pots. It's a hundred dollars for the first four people, and then from then on, it's just four dollars. <laughs> then it's four bucks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> If you want to find out more, head on over to Dick's blog and log. And there's all the information. September 29th, New York, New York. Please RSVP to our email address, mail at gizwiz.tv. Uh, the time is 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. And it's just a, it's just a fun time. Uh, and our, pro our producer's going to be there too, right? Josh will be there. Uh, you'll be there. Dennis will be there. Myra, so, Becky. Myra. Probably Mo. Well, Mo's people. come. Uh, I'm, sure Mo, I'm sure Mo. I'm sure Mo's yeah. going to be there. It'll be great. It'll be awesome. Yeah. So please RSVP to this email address, mail at gizwiz.tv. Just let us and know. And just say coming. coming, one yeah. person coming, two people. You don't right. just put it in the subject line. That's fine. That'll be great. Uh, with that, that, we're just about to end our show. But first, we want to say thank you. Sorry to our patrons at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys make the show happen every single week. So thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for supporting the show and all of your generosity. Uh, if you like this show, please consider giving back at patreon.com slash gizwiz or 
Uh, there's a PayPal link on our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab, and then there's a link there to support over on PayPal. However you support, we just want to say thank you so much for your generosity when it comes to the Gizwiz. Uh, it really helps us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, while you're at gizwiz.tv, clicking on that Patreon tab, you can see all of our previous episode or catch the show live. Uh, we record live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time. And if you don't catch it live, don't worry. You can just watch all of our previous shows there. But also, you can, if you do watch it live, you can join the chat room, hang out with everybody. It's just right there on the website. Uh, you can also head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's site, and that's where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about. So while you're there, you can check those out and play What the Heck Is It? It's the game show that Dickie D runs himself about figuring out what the heck that gadget is. That is the whole gadget, not just a part of the gadget. Uh, and this is, uh, obvious to me that this is a gadget uh, for um, all, you know, all the places that are banning straws. This is oh. um, a reasonable straw that you can. Wow. And just nine your... days left, depending yeah. on when you're watching this. Yeah, exactly. So get your guesses in now. This is kind of the last moment uh, to, to get in your guesses. So if you're listening to this, go guess right now. Otherwise, <laughs> there's going to be a new gadget up <laughs> by the next episode. Just about. Uh, so get your guesses in. There are six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. Uh, and so get a guess in. And this is, I mean, unfortunately, we're running up on the end of the Mad Magazine time. That uh, I, Do you just have 12, 16, 20, you know, how many subscriptions are you going to have? Forward? Uh, oh, oh. Mad Magazines. <laughs> uh, I have six subscriptions wow. uh, to Mad uh, but now with them adding another one, uh, we're good through January, February. Yeah. Yeah, so, and so that, that will be good. available on uh, markets? Like you won't have to have... Oh, no, no. Uh, they'll send me copies, Perfect. hopefully. Uh, the current issue now right. that Mo's going to get and, and people are getting if you send in a video is the last newsstand, newsstand. Uh, edition. Got it. Okay. Got it, yeah. got it, got it. Uh, with that, that about wraps up our episode of the Gizwiz. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. And I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>